Now the lambs are all in. Uh, it's the weather has been so neurotic, going from caught to hold to dry to wet, that uh, we've had a bit of a worm issue. So what I'm doing is keeping them in. I've wormed them on Sunday. So they're all in so that their poop is in here. They're on hay and um, they're pooping in here so that their poop won't kill dung beetles because the dung beetles won't come in here. Um, so I'm doing the lambs at the moment. So they're all having, they've got alfalfa, chopped up alfalfa molasses mix with some uh, nuts, sheep nuts, is what they're having twice a day. And then they're having hay, which the puppies are all now playing in. So I fill this ring feeder up I've got to put some more in now. And so I will be doing that for the next few days until the worst of the wormer is through their system to the point where it won't be harmful to the dung beetles. So I've given myself more work, but in the long run, I hope this is going to be better for my dung be beetle population because if I release them out, with the wormer in their system, it would kill or debilitate or deform dung beetles so they wouldn't be able to perform what they're meant to do. And to have a thriving biodiverse society of insects, I have to protect them. And this way I'm protecting the livestock and protecting the dung beetles. And yes, there is a little bit of more work involved, but this is the first year I've had to do this in quite a few years is to take the, uh, is to give them everybody a um, big dose, worming dose. So hopefully that will um, fix the problem for the lambs and prevent a problem for the dung beetles.